As most people become more interested in learning about where their food is grown and raised, more farmers and ranchers are opening their doors to visitors. But there may be other opportunities aside from the traditional corn maze or petting zoo. This week in Louisiana Agriculture's A.B. Davidson is standing by with an expert in outdoor enterprises to tell us more about it. Avery? Mike, farmers already have a lot of challenges in front of them. One of them can be making money, and another way in which they can is through agritourism and outdoor enterprises. Joining me now is the agritourism co coordinator for the LSU Ag Center, Dora Ann Hatch. Dora Ann, thank you so much for joining us. Tell me a little bit about this event you have going on June 6th in Vidalia. Well, we want to inform landowners about some options they have on their farmlands. So we have Mississippi State University coming in to do a workshop that will talk to them about the enterprises, that recreational enterprises that they can put on their farmlands. Dr. Daryl Jones will talk about the revenue potential for the different enterprises. Say you want a hunting operation on your farm. Maybe you want a corn maze, or maybe you want to do a nature walk on your farmland. These are all recreational opportunities. How can I get involved? What do I have to do to be there on June 6th? Okay, to be there, you need to register. We would love to know who you are before June 1st. So you can contact me at the Ag Center and register. We can send you um, a PDF form of our brochure so that you'll know the agenda and everything, but just to register with me. All right, June 6th, that'll start up at 8 a.m. there in Vidalia. Dora Ann Hatch, thank you so much. She is the Agritourism co Coordinator for the LSU Ag Center. So, Mike, all of that information which Dora Ann Hatch was talking about, you can find it on our website, twilatv.org. We'll link you everywhere you need to go. Back to you. Avery Davidson, thanks. Still to come on this week in Louisiana agriculture, it's got long, sharp, pointy teeth and lurks in Louisiana's bayous. So why is the LSU Ag Center fighting to keep this fish from disappearing? We'll find out. Stay with us.